Compañía Caracas and the bus station to catch a bus, eight hour night bus to Quito because I'm traveling up north, back up to Colombia to bring down Maria's boat to Anna. So I'll be excited to be back on the night bus in Ecuador. Luxury. It's eleven. It's eleven dollars for eight hours bus ride. I think I'm gonna sleep like a princess. There's so much. There. And there's Wi-Fi in here too. Whew, I am in uh, Medellin. I arrived here last night at twelve thirty at night, and um, I had to spend the night because my flight to Bahia Solano leaves this morning at nine um it's the last jump of the trip i'm a little tired probably because quito is like 2800 meters and bogota is like 2600 so i'm not used to being in the altitude anymore plus night buses and whatnot not a lot of sleep and i feel that i'm getting a little cold so that's not so grand but i'm gonna pack my bags now and head over to the national airport and <laughs> jump on this crazy little small bush, bush plane. Good old Jojo is all nice and spiffy, ready for charters. This is the forward cabin. And this is the starboard cabin. The head with the shower. Ooh, Maria just fixed the floor. And this is the salon. And one person sleeps here. Another person sleeps here. We have little curtains here so you can close those up. And then it's like a little private area. Shall we pick up some people? Let's go get some peeps! This is where everybody's probably already waiting for us. We now have four guests two Americans, one Canadian, one Dutch. Well, it seems that everything is ready and we're gonna go in and pick up our new guests. I'm Ruud. I live in Bergen op Zoom in the Netherlands. Uh, I uh, work as an environmental policy advisor in the Rotterdam area. And it's what drives me to get a better environment as a person. I love nature. I love being in remote places. So that's one of the reasons to get here. We left this morning in Bahia Solano, fairly early morning start, around 
six we got up and then we had two anchors to take up. The first we took up the, we dropped the stern anchor and then we took up the anchor on the bow and then we had to take up the anchor from the stern, which was an interesting task for the new crew. Everybody did super well, really nice teamwork, it was great. And we're just approaching the Bay of Utia. Um, it's like a pretty big peninsula that stretches out and then you can sneak behind a peninsula. It's a super protected bay, apparently. Beautiful national park, and we're probably gonna anchor behind one of these two islands here because we heard that it's uh, a little nicer there for snorkeling and for anchoring. So we're gonna check that out, and if it's too rolly, then we're probably gonna work our way into the bay. We already worked everybody so hard that they're napping. My name is Bob. Uh, my family calls me Arthur Hughes Horn. I'm from Salt Lake City, Utah, in the United States. I came to White Spot Pirates uh, because I wanted to get my foot in the water where the YouTube fleet floats. For the second night, we moved Jan a little further into the bay and took our guests to shore to explore the National Park of Utria. Julio told us that there's 10 different types of mangroves here in Colombia and seven of these different types of mangroves are to be found in the National Park of Utria. It's really pretty. Esta es una churima rabo de puerco, le llaman. Churima. Churima. ¿Se sí. come? Claro, se come, mire. Lo que pasa es que esta está un poquito como seca. ¿Esto se come? Sí, eso se come. ¿Seguro? Sí, claro. Yo te miro no, primero. Esta es la semilla. Ah. Esta es la semilla, pero lo, okay. que se, lo que se come es este musílago. Este. Ah, ok. Sí. Solamente la carne. Solamente la carne. Entonces, so 5205. 5,200,500 pesos per person for the national park here. And then my friend Julio just here tells me it's another 1,400,500 for the night at anchor. Probably not where we anchored yesterday, but we're anchored today. So that's an, uh, an additional cost for anchoring if you want to anchor up here just next to this national park. This is where they put all the trash that comes from the ocean. Fishing lines and jugs. Beer bottles might be from here. Shoes as usual. 
Rosetti. Rob Rosetti, I'm from Ontario, Canada. Uh, I went on sailing Joanna. Three and of course yourself, Nikki. The reason I went was for the experience of sailing in the Pacific. I also wanted the experience of sailing on a traditional boat such as Joanna. There's some sour sauce. My name is Richard. I'm from Buffalo, New York. Uh, a little bit about me. I'm retired, uh, looking to get out of Buffalo, usually uh, several times during the winter months. A little cold up there. So, uh, I saw a video on your channel and decided to go on a cruise on, on an old sailboat heading south down the Colombian coast. Uh, ten day sail. I've never done that before. Never been on, I've been on a sailboat but I've never ever uh, uh, sailed on a sailboat such as Maria's Joanna. We're in the little village of Hovi, which is part of the municipality of Nuki. And our anchorage is called Koki. And we're on our way to a little tour up a river in dugout canoes. They call it Chingo, I think. And it's going to be a little tour of two and a half hours up to a waterfall. them carry anything red. Nor Maria nor I have ever been in this part of the world so <laughs> this charter trip was quite the adventure for all of us given the nature of the remoteness of the places that we visited. And up next is an overnight sail to the island Gorgona but more about that next week. <laughs> <laughs>